Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Lindsay with Evergreen Intuitive Tarot. Today we're gonna do an all signs reading according to the poll that I posted yesterday. It was close, so what I'm going to do is, today I'm gonna do the winner, which is what you need to know right now. And then for the next three readings after today, I'm going to go in order of what ranked next in line. So today we're gonna to find out what you need to know right now. For some of you, this could be tomorrow. For some of you, this could be in a week. For some of you, this could be two weeks ago. Timing is fluid. Just remember to take this with a grain of salt, guys. It's a tarot reading. Um, if, so, if one sign doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. Check another sign. That's why it's important to know your birth chart. If you don't know your birth chart, there is a link down below in the description box where you can procure that. Also in the description box, you will find my email address. Thank you to everybody who keeps me booked and busy and trusts me to read your energy. For the last four years, that has meant the world to me. I am open for private readings now, so you can find information down below. Shoot me an email and I'll get you started. Um, is there anything else? Hang on, I'm a little parched. Hold, please. All right, let's go ahead and get started with Aries. Let me move all my little crystals. Okay, Spirit, can you please let Aries, oh, <laughs> Jesus, heartache and loss. Aries, are you dealing with some grief, betrayal, heartache and loss? Let's get one more and then I'm gonna pull a central energy. Let's get one more for Aries spirit. What do they need to know right now? What does Aries need to know right now? Thank you. Deception and envy. So I feel like some of you have either just found out or you're about to find out that someone has betrayed you or that someone has deceived you or that someone is jealous of you. This could be a friend, a lover, a coworker. Um, it's so funny because even, I say funny, it's interesting rather, because even in your grief and your heartbreak, whoever's looking at you still thinks you have it all, still thinks you're winning. So, hmm. Interesting. All right, let's pull a central energy spirit. What is the main energy for Aries? What do they need to know? What is their main message? I love this deck with my whole heart and soul, but it's so ginormous that I can't shuffle it like usual. <laughs> <clears throat> it is gigantic. All right, Spirit, what is the Ace of Blades? So this is information, news, communication. This could also be surgery or some kind of medical uh, procedure. So some of you may be finding out some bad news um, about someone else, about a pet, about yourself. Um, and what's interesting, like I said before, is there's still people jealous. Some deception. Get a second opinion is what I'm hearing. Get a second or third opinion, whether it's a pet, yourself, a family member, get a second or third opinion. Okay. And let's not let the heartache and loss be preemptive. Some of you may have already lost somebody or a pet, a family member, a loved one, a friend, but if you haven't lost somebody recently, right, uh, around this reading time, don't jump to conclusions, get a second and third opinion. Okay, very interesting. Let's pull some cards and then we'll get some advice from the universe for you, Aries. Spirit, can you please give us some cards? What does Aries need to know right now? What are the most important messages, please? Thank you. What does Aries need to know right now? What are the most important messages for my Aries, please? Thank you. Okay, King of Swords. Again, some news, some information, legalities, professionalism. So this could be a professional. This could be another opinion. Lots of communication, lots of thoughts, lots of learning, lots of ideas here. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Oh my gosh, again, three of swords. So there's that heartache, loss, betrayal, deception. Let's get two more for Aries. Three of wands. So so I feel like you're finding something out that is that does not feel good, Aries. But I feel like you're using it to create the future that you now see possible. It's like it's creating a different future for you. You may be having to go back to the drawing board, but I feel like you're waiting for something to arrive, whether it's time, a person, um, an opportunity. This is looking forward to the future. Turning heartache into hope is what I just heard. One more for Aries, please. King of Wands, yeah. I feel like at first you're thinking, it, you know, it's facts over feelings. Everything is very logical. It's... um learning things and having to employ professionals then it's like all of a sudden or not even maybe not even all of a sudden Aries but I feel like you're turning 
you know, a devastating situation or learning of some heartbreaking news into, you know, for instance, let's say um, I found out a family member of mine um, was sick with a terminal illness and I start looking at my, my life and thinking, okay, what do I want to change? What do I want to do differently? Is this the path I want to be on? It's almost like when people say it makes you question your mortality, I feel like it's going to empower you to make different decisions almost overnight. Um, and there are some people that are going to be looking at you like, how did Aries do it? How, how does Aries have the balls or the, the audacity or the wherewithal to pick up this, you know, all these pieces from this situation and turn it into power? It's like you're turning pain into power. That is exceptional. Um, so like I said, something tough and difficult, but I feel like you need to employ some professionals, get second and third opinions, um, stay facts over feelings and use this pain and turn it into power. Okay. Let's get your advice from the universe spirit. What is Aries advice, please? Okay. It's on the floor, but that's okay. That's not new around here. We got, we're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. So some of you may be experiencing some heartache or betrayal or bad news differently than maybe other people would expect you to, Aries. Maybe instead of laying in bed for three weeks and grieving, which is fine, um, or getting depressed or whatever, you you know start working 60 hours a week or you start creating art or you have a glow up or you put a lot, you know, put energy into yourself. It's like whatever this process is for you, you may think is different, but everybody's different. There is no normal when it comes to grief. There is no normal when it comes to um, any kind of heartache or loss or betrayal. So however you handle things is how you handle things. As long as it's in a healthy way, meaning it, it helps you turn your pain into power and your heartbreak into hope, then you're good to go. Don't worry about how other people look at you because guess what? You could do everything by the book, normal and right, and people are still going to talk shit and want what you have. All right, Aries, so do you process this however you want to and need to as long as it's bringing you out on the other side more empowered and hopeful, okay? All right, Aries, that is your reading. That was incredible. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, Aries, that would mean the world to me, and I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. All right, next up we have Taurus. Spirit, can we please get two cards for what Taurus needs to know right now? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are their most important messages? What does Taurus need to know right now? You get spiritual union. This is like the Two of Cups. So you've either recently met someone or you're in a connection or you're about to meet someone with whom you are very compatible. Um, you see eye to eye. You have a lot of things in common. You want the same things. The chemistry is there. The energy is there. Um, beautiful. Let's get one more for Taurus. This person could also be an earth sign like you. Also green is the color of the heart chakra. Solitude. So some of you have been alone, alone for a long time. Maybe you've been doing shadow work, journaling, um, learning about yourself, growing, evolving, and now all of a sudden you may have a spiritual union or the other way around. Some of you may be going from being in a spiritual union to solitude. Now this could be for a number of reasons. It could be a breakup. It could be somebody traveling, somebody working out of town, having to move. I don't know, maybe taking a break like Ross and Rachel. <laughs> but um, let's pull some more cards and see what is up. All right, Spirit, this is for Taurus. What is there? Oh, okay. Two of coins. Ah, it's a balancing act here. Some of you are trying not to become completely consumed in a spiritual union. And the universe is saying, hey, make time with this person, but also make time for yourself. Keep your promises to yourself. Keep up with your obligations. Don't abandon yourself for this person and don't abandon this person for yourself kind of thing. It's a balancing act. Um, Work-life balance, love-life balance, social work, love, life, all of those things, balancing maybe parenthood. Uh, some of you may be working more than one job. You've got a lot on your plate. So I feel like it's really important that you find some balance in your life at this time, Taurus. All right, Spirit, let's get four cards. Ooh, Eight of Swords in the Tower. Some of you guys have been confused about something or anxious about something or in your head about something, and there is 
a big surprise coming your way that is gonna shake you free of that. Some of you may be moving suddenly with the tower and the 10 of wands. All right, Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Let's get four cards. What do they need to know right now? What are the most important messages for my Taurus? I just heard figs. I saw figs, so I'm not sure if somebody loves figs or somebody has a fig candle right now or something about figs. But anyhow, maybe you should eat more figs. I don't know. <laughs> four cards for Taurus, Spirit. Okay, two of swords. Let's get three more for Taurus. What do they need to know right now, Spirit? The moon. They're like, hmm, we're not going to give you all the information you seek. There's something here that you're struggling with because you're scared of or you're unsure of or you're having a hard time looking at, trying to avoid something, maybe a fear or trying to avoid finding out the truth. Page of coins here and the two of wands. So some of you are getting an opportunity, okay? Now this opportunity could either add to your already full plate or it could replace the other plates. You've got some, you've got a decision to make here. I feel like at first when you get this opportunity, Taurus, you're like, oh no, 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 I couldn't possibly, I've already got a lot going on. How would I manage this? How would I manage that? It's so far away, I'm so busy, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like the more you, like those are, that's your body, that's like your ego protecting you, right? From any kind of perceived pain, your ego is there to protect you, it's doing its job. But I feel like the more you look into the opportunity, you may realize that if you in fact take this new opportunity, whether it's a relationship, a job, a move, education, doesn't matter. But Taurus, I feel like the more you look into this and the more that you face your ego and your fears, um, you will find that not only might it provide more money or stability or opportunity, it actually, I feel like it's going to simplify what's on your plate. We're going from two of coins to one singular coin in your hand that you can completely focus on, polish, invest, use. And then two of wands, then it's like the ball is in your court. So there's something here you need to stop avoiding, whether it's looking into something or, or um, uh, considering something. There's something here for you to consider and don't let your ego or your fear-based thinking convince you not to because I actually think it's going to give you more than what you hoped. And some of that could be free time, right? Two of Wands, it's your choice. Which way do you want to go? Left, right, up, down, blue pill, red pill. But you have to actually look at the thing and not be scared of it so that you can make that choice. Okay. What is Taurus's advice from the universe, please, Spirit? Some of you guys need to get advice from a friend or lover and do some alone time to, to come to this conclusion, right? You might need to journal. You might need to think about it. You might need to pray, do some research, ask friends or your lover, but ultimately trust your own gut. Spirit, what is Taurus's advice? Oh, oh my gosh, with the floor. My back is too sore for this shit. We have set your course, exactly, it says number 22. So you may be seeing the number two, we have number two, 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 two. So we have four twos on the, on the table. Set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan and the right direction, exactly. You can't make the right decision unless you have all the information. So get all the information and then you can choose your course. But make sure you have all the information so you can make the best decision for you, Taurus. Underneath it says, do not drink the poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. I'm just throwing that out there. All right, Taurus, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helped. Um, if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. And Taurus, I will see you in your next reading replacement. Take care. just had to pluck a dead leaf from my plant. I've had these plants as long as I've had my YouTube channel. So what, three plus years? I'm actually repotting and resoiling them today. So I bet they're very excited. <laughs> All right, next up we have Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, can you please tell us what Gemini needs to know right now? Two cards for Gemini, overall energy. What do they need to know? What are their most important messages? Holy crap. Two cards for Gemini. Oh my gosh, if it, I swear. Ooh, temptation. 
You've got some devil energy here. Could have Capricorn in your chart or be dealing with one. You're going to be tempted or you're going to be tempting somebody. This could be addictions. This could be a uh, relationship. This could be sex. This could be um, bad choices. You're being tempted with something. One more for Gemini, please. Oh my God, dude. Seriously. Emotional loss. You may be tempted to go back to something or someone that hurt you in the past or will cause you emotional pain. Five of Cups. Disappointment, sadness, grief. Something I feel like you've already um, experienced emotional loss around or pain, but if not, just know that this may not be the best thing for you to follow up with. Let's get a central energy for Gemini. Spirit, give me one card for Gemini, please. What is their main message? Thank you. Temperance. Ah, comes after the devil. Or is it before? I think it's after. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. Could have that in your chart or be dealing with one. Temperance talks about moderation, experimentation, um, modifying things or behaviors. It talks about balance, having good judgment. Um, different strokes for different folks is what I'm hearing. So it's like, um, if you are going to give into the temptation, Gemini, do not go balls deep. Do not go all in. And remember that if you play stupid games, you'll win stupid prizes. I, I know that sounded tough, but here we are, Gemini. That's what, whatever comes up, comes out. So sure, dabble and play if you want, but just know that A, make sure, you know, all things in moderation, even moderation. Have a little fun, live it up, sure, YOLO. But also, keep in mind that this temptation is tied to emotional loss, so if you dabble and play, you're, you might fuck around and find out a little bit. Okay, let's get four cards for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know right now? What is their main message, please? Sagittarius and Capricorn energy here. So you're dealing with somebody on the cusp or this could be happening around Sagittarius Capricorn season. All right, four cards for Gemini. Wheel of Fortune, also Sagittarius energy. Things turning in the right direction, going the right way. Things going your way. Good luck, good fortune, very good. Three of Swords, ah. It's like something looks good, all that glitters isn't gold is what I'm hearing. Also, some of you may be seeking some sort of pain relief with this temptation, something to take the edge off, something to make you feel a little better, but I feel like it's temporary. The pain is still gonna be there. Two more cards for Gemini. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here with the King of Cups. It's about being, ooh, Jesus. Okay, so you've got somebody here, if this is about a person, Okay, you've got somebody in your life, Gemini, that likes to play with your emotions. They may sell you dreams, make you empty promises. This person comes around, they spiritually and emotionally connect to you. You think things are going well and then boom. And then they come back around and they say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Oh my gosh, I've never felt like this before. I've missed you so much, blah, blah, blah. And then boom, seven of swords. It's like no matter how many times you go back and forth with this idea, job, friend, lover, addiction, it's up and down, up and down, up and down, and it always ends up hurting you and embarrassing you and making you feel like shit. So why are we still doing it? Well, because you may still have a karmic contract with this person or this job or this addiction. But the, the more you attach the pain to the temptation, then pleasure to the temptation, your brain will start to rewire itself, okay? So, Start assigning more pain and misery feeling to whatever's tempting you instead of joy and pleasure and your brain will start to fix itself, essentially. All right, let's get advice from the universe. That was advice from your tarot reader that has a psychology degree and happens to be a heavy philosopher with five Sagittarius placements. But let's see what the universe says. Clock time, time, pressure, and in a rush. So that means you don't have too many more cycles to keep fucking around with this. Eventually, you're going to find out. <laughs> okay? So, Gemini, I feel like it is time to make a decision. This person may be putting um, pressure on you to make a decision, pressure on you to fold, pressure on you. Um, you know, for instance, if it's a job, they're saying, hey, Gemini, um, we'd like you to answer us by the end of the business day. Or if it's a lover or a past person, um, hey, you know, time is rushing. We're not getting any younger. Let's go ahead and move this forward kind of thing. Do things in your time. So yes, feel the pressure, but don't rush yourself or feel rushed. 
unless you believe it's necessary, but it's time to make a different choice. Like the shit's not, you're not gonna be able to, to be as resilient forever. You're not gonna bounce back as quickly forever, okay? All right, Gemini, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, certainly hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. And Gemini, I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. I'm actually gonna switch this around. I love you. All right, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, can you please give us a central message, central energy? What is their biggest um, message that they need today? This is for Cancer. This is for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know the most? That one. King of Blades. So this is legal issues. This is a professional. You could be getting information, learning something, dealing with the legal system. This is all about information. It is not about your feelings. It's about fact and logic. So you're learning something or you're communicating something or you are involved with something that has to do with the legal system or information. Okay. Spirit, two cards for cancer. Well, there's one. Awareness. So you're becoming aware of something. You are either having some sort of spiritual awakening here or you are becoming aware of an issue via communication, becoming aware of a lawsuit, becoming aware of um, some legal action, becoming aware of somebody's motives or... Um, just information. There's something you're becoming aware of and it's going to move you. This isn't something just everyday mundane like, oh, I found out that, you know, somebody hit my neighbor's mailbox last night. It's not like that. This is big. This is bigger than that. One more for cancer. One more for cancer. Thank you. Intuition, which is the very next card after aware awareness. Some of you felt this coming, intuited it. You are a cancer after all. I'm getting a lot of you have more than one cancer placement. Comment down below if you have more than one comment, uh, cancer placement. I have a cancer moon, so I, you know, I feel you. It, you've, you're learning about something and the, you, already, you saw it coming. You already saw it coming. And then also when you're presented with this information or situation, cancer, I feel like you're going to be able to predict or intuit how it goes. So you're really relying on your crown chakra, your heart chakra, your third eye, um, you're intuiting, you're very, very, very connected. You're trusting your intuition or you should be. All right, let's get four cards for Cancer Spirit. What do they need to know right now? What is this about? What should they do? Any other messages for Cancer? Four cards, please. What does Cancer need to know right now? Wow, King of Swords again. Definitely legal system. This is lawyer. This is professional. This is opinions. This is higher ups. This is um, communication, learning, knowledge. Holy shit. A decision could be being made. Oh my gosh. Two of Pentacles. You've got options here trying to weigh things out. Death. Scorpio energy here. Huge change or ending. Again, I think you saw it coming. I'm going to take this one because it flipped. Page of Pentacles. Let's see what this one is just for the fuck of it. Six of Pentacles. So some of you maybe, for instance, maybe involved in a lawsuit. Um, you felt like it was going to go in your favor. Decision comes in, you know, or um, you have a judge, you have a deliberation. Something huge is ending. So like the trial is ending or changing. And then you're, so you have Page of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles, which is getting an apology, getting, um, winning something, getting something tangible, getting what you deserve. That is a very broad example. This could be anything, Eight of Pentacles, something you've worked on or been waiting for for a long time. Um, for others of you, I just feel like you've intuited something coming to either an end or something changing. And that that change or ending is going to give you and bring you exactly what you need in terms of coins. So money, effort, energy, resources, um, inheritance, land, whatever that is for you, there's something that is ending or changing involving either the legal system or some professionals or a masculine communi communicator, something that you felt and saw coming and you're being aw made aware of this decision or this deliberation and it is going to go in your favor. Maybe not what you wanted, it may not be 10 of coins, but it's what you, what you, what, 
It's what you're being found worthy of or what you're being found deserving of, and that's from the universe, okay? Speaking of universe, let's get a card for your guidance and advice. Spirit, what is Cancer's advice? This could also be a promotion, guys. This could be somebody losing a job and you're getting it. This could be, you know, somebody passing away at your job and you're getting their job. And it may come with a raise and a promotion. It doesn't have to be a lawsuit, but there's something here about somebody above you and something changing and you reaping the benefits. That's very interesting. Cancer, what is their advice, please, Spirit? Thank you. Jeez Louise, did I have to go flying? Believe, strange encounter. So something is something unlikely is happening. Something unlikely. Maybe in your intuition, you felt something and you were like, ah, oh, that'll never happen. Well, guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> I feel like it's happening. Something akin to what you were feeling. But this is saying believe. If you see weird things, if you're getting signs, if, you know, if you're seeing butterflies or cardinals or whatever, um, hearing certain songs on the radio or seeing, you know, um, if you're having any kind of like clear audience or clear cognizance, believe it. You know, you're, you're not imagining things. So um, strange encounters, believe them and believe your eyes because something of is very interesting and strange is about to happen before your very eyes. And the universe says, not only did you intuit it, Cancer, but we want you to believe it because it's happening. Wow, what a reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. You could be dealing, by the way, with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or a Scorpio. But I hope you enjoyed your reading. That was very cool. Um, and I hope it helps. If you would please like this video and subscribe to my channel, Cancer, that would mean the world to me. And I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. That was a cool reading. I like that one. Mm, Benjamin. That's that gelato number 17, baby. <laughs> All right, next up we have Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus spirit. Can we please get one card? What is their main, their main, I almost said master. What is their main message? What do they need to know right now? This is for Leo. Thank you. This is for Leo. Nope, not that one. Leo. Knight of Cups. Sensitive, caring, loving, romantic. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So Leo, Leo, you're either dealing with a water sign that is in romantic pursuit of you or you are in romantic pursuit of someone. But there's someone, there's another energy here that you may have a connection uh, to, a romantic connection to. All right, let's see what's going on. Spirit, give us two more cards, please, for what Leo needs to know right now. What is the main, I just heard birds of a feather. So maybe that song by Billie Eilish means something, or that's a, I mean, it's a very old saying, birds of a feather flock together. You are who you're friends with. You are the company you keep. Oh my gosh, all the sayings are coming up. They're asking me to tell you that you, even though you have chemistry with this person, keep in mind, are they the person that you want to raise kids with, build a future with, build a home with, invest with, be responsible for all of their debts and all of their, like, is this the person you want to do life with? Don't just pay attention to the chemistry and the romance. Wow, I've never gotten that from the Knight of Cups before. Interesting. All right, two cards. We have Passion Ignited. Wowzers, Ace of Wands energy here. You're feeling a, uh, <laughs> I just heard Hunk a Hunk of Burning Love by Elvis. Does somebody love Elvis? Your heart chakra's on fire. I'm on fire, Bruce Springsteen. I used to love that song, but when he says, hey, little girls, your daddy home, it just turns so now I don't even have it in my library anymore. Anyhow, still a classic. Passion ignited. You're onto something. You are being lit up. You met somebody. Somebody's lighting you up. Wow. One more for Leo. What's their main message? What do they need to know right now? So this is a very love focused. Ah, you've met someone and now you're considering your options. You may be considering moving. You may be considering a relationship. I feel like you're considering what this connection would mean for the rest of your life. Would we get married? Would we buy a house? Would we have kids? Would our friends like each other? You know, what church will we go to? What school would the kids go to? It's that kind of thing. You're considering the impact that this love might have on your life and vice versa. Very interesting. All right, let's get four cards for Leo, please, Spirit. Four cards for Leo. What do they need to know right now? What do they need to know right now? Bleeding heart, bleeding love, Leona Lewis. You're getting all the musical references today, Leo, Jesus. 
Four cards for Leo. What do they need to know right now, please? Six of Swords. Okay. It's maybe something you keep quiet at first. Or you guys may live at a distance or um, see each other at night or have to travel to each other. Page of Swords in reverse. Maybe finding out something that you don't want to know. Somebody may be doing some spying. Two of Wands. Okay. Again, Two of Wands here. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. First of all, if you're trying to make a decision, don't worry. I feel like you're going to make the perfect decision for you, Leo. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? So don't worry. Whatever choice you make, things are going to go in your favor. So don't fret because this is going to be different for all of you. Some of you guys are going to look at this connection and be like, you know what? I don't really know if this is the right thing for me because you may be doing research, Googling this motherfucker, looking up their past criminal, whatever, find, looking them up on dating. Like some of you are doing a deep dive and a dig, like an FBI level search, trying to find out information about this person. You may be finding something you don't want to see. If you're looking for something, chances are you're going to find it. And then you'll be back to the drawing board. But for others of you, I feel like you... Yeah, I, I, for most of you guys, I do feel like this person, you may have a lot of chemistry with them. They may make you feel something inside, light you up and make you excited about getting up every morning, but I don't feel like they're long-term. I feel like this person or the relationship does, doesn't, it's not quite the right fit. And there's some reason why it's either information or distance or secrecy or, you know, too much is at stake or it's just not the right fit. Maybe you guys don't want the same things. You're not in the same place, like whatever that is. And I feel like you're you're just kind of in this moment where you're between like enjoying it and trying to be practical about it moving forward, Leo. It's like you don't want to string this person on, you don't want them to string you on, but also you want to really enjoy each other while you have each other because you didn't meet by accident. But is this, you know, Mr. Right or Mr. Right Now? We have to decide. Or Mrs. Ms. Right, Ms. Right Now. Anyways. All right, let's get some. Oh, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. All right, Spirit, what is Leo's advice, please? Oh, you got three, but no. What is Leo's advice? Leo doesn't need that much advice. One card is good. <laughs> My Leo Rising says, that is correct. <laughs> One card for Leo. What is their advice? What is Leo's advice? Okay, well, we get two. All must have prices. So you're trying to please everybody. You can't. There's, there's no world where you are going to be able to please everybody. You cannot be everything to everyone. So you have to look out for you and your kids if you have kids first. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. So not just anger, but also let's say um, your libido or passion or emotions. Don't let any one part of you rule, dictate your whole life, right? So keep your temper. Try not to get too emotionally attached. Try not to let this overtake you. And, you know, sometimes we have to make hard decisions that will disappoint other people, but they're what's best for us, right? All right, Leo, that's your reading. Very interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it helps. Oh, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius, by the way. By the way, with the Wheel of Fortune. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. All right, Leo, that was your reading. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would be hella awesome. And I appreciate you being here. And I will see you in your next reading or placement, Leo. Take care. All right, next we have Virgo. Spirit, one card, please, for Virgo's main message. What does Virgo need to know right now? What is the most pressing message, most important issue? What do they need to know about right now, please? All right, Virgo. Ten of Cups. So we're looking at ideals here. We're looking at your ideal life, your dream life, the dream situation, a vision board, a... Uh, you know, what? fun fact, when I was in elementary school, we did this thing called the Million Dollar Log. It was, it was a spending log, a million dollar spending log. And we each, hypothetically, you know, I think I was in third grade, so I was the same age as my kid, eight and a half. And they said, we're giving you a million dollars, hypothetically. Show us in magazine clippings, drawings, writing, how you would spend every penny of that million dollars. So we're, it's like you're manifesting, you're dreaming up your best life and we'll get more information, but the, for this to be the main energy, I love this. Also, some of you could be experiencing sublime pleasure and happiness right now. You may have experienced, be experiencing the dream life, you know, 
the two and a half kids, the dog, the white picket fence, the loving partner, the rainbow after the storm. Um, that's not for all of you. Some of you could be experiencing that, but it doesn't get any better than this. So it's like, uh, for most of you, I feel like you're dreaming up what your dream life looks like. Let's get some more cards. Spirit, two cards for Virgo. What do they need to know right now? What is their most important message? Virgo, two cards, please. Material harvest. Well, I feel like finances are gonna be looking up or they're looking good. This is saying, you know, if you have a lot right now, maybe don't spend it all, okay? Um, try to be a good shepherd of what the universe gives you because that is how they will know how much more to give you. Are you squandering things or are you investing things? Are you making your money make you more money or are you spending it? Is it burning a hole in your pocket, right? How are you managing your resources? That's how the universe will know what else to give you. Holy shit, that was very deep for that card. One more for Virgo. Disruption. So some of you may be experiencing a high right now. Maybe family life is good. Romantic life could be good. Kids could be doing well. Home could be doing well. Work could be going well. You could be experiencing a very good energy. And then all of a sudden, boom, disruption. Now, this is akin to the tower. But for me, this card is like an internal disruption. So this is almost like self-sabotage or anxiety. This is like something within you that you might not even be aware of coming in to try to fuck up the party, okay? It's like the fucking fun police, okay? Um, so just be aware that you might have something within you or even externally coming in to disrupt this la 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 10 of cups energy here, okay? Or, thank you spirit, or you need to prepare and save for a potential tower moment. Let's say for instance, we just had two back-to-back -back hurricanes and we will probably get at least one more. I live in Florida. Um, this hurricane season or job loss or, you know, medical issues, make sure that you're putting a little bit away for a rainy day so that a disruption isn't as profoundly, it's not such a profound loss, not saying you're going to experience a profound loss, but just in case we never know what's going to happen. So, you know, prepare for a rainy day as best you can. Spirit, four, four cards for Virgo. Okay, Knight of Wands, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. The lovers, oh my lord. This one, seven of cups. One more for Virgo. Gemini energy here with the lovers. You've got a choice to make. You're gonna make the right one, don't worry. You're gonna make the right one. And it's and you're gonna come out even better from it, hell yeah. All right, so Virgo, what I'm seeing for, for you is you may have an opportunity or a person riding in trying to sweep you off your feet, right? trying to woo you. This could, like I said, this could be a job, a lover, whatever. This is an, an option, okay? An option. And I feel like this approach, this option is going to confuse you a little bit. I feel like you're gonna look at all of your different options and you're gonna say, okay, this is one option. For instance, if it's a lover coming in, you're gonna say, okay, do they contribute to my life? Do they make my life better? Do I prefer their presence to my alone time? You know, do they make me feel good? Do they contribute to what my dream life would look like? Or are they here to disrupt shit and confuse me and fuck with my money and my family and my happiness? Justice here, Libra energy, you have a decision to make. You're weighing the pros and cons of a person, a move, an opportunity, a job, something like that. And with the Queen of Wands, Virgo, I feel like you are taking your power. You are making the choice that's going to elevate you the most. It's gonna make you shine, it's going to bring you success, it's going to make you very happy, but that's your choice and yours alone to make. Something might be very tempting, but you have to decide if it's a good fit. You have to decide if it's here to contribute or disrupt, if it's going to give or take, okay? All right, you could be dealing with a Gemini, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I almost said Aquarius, or a Libra. Spirit, uh, also an Aries or Scorpio with the tower card here. Got a lot going on. Spirit, please give us one card of advice for Virgo. Thank you. Oh, well, that didn't take long at all. Impossible things. Working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, leaps, and a fresh perspective. Kind of like hanged man, fool energy here. 
So it, this is asking you to look at things through a different lens. And if you think something is too good to be true, maybe it's not. Maybe you are in a period of disbelief. Like, how can I possibly be this happy? Well, don't fuck it up by starting to believe that you're not worth it. Believe surface level. If you know, when, what's that? Is it Maya Angelou? That's the quote. When somebody shows you who, are, who they are, you should believe them the first time. There's something here that you're finding it hard to believe. You're, you're taking leaps based on your imagination. Like I said, remember earlier, I felt like you were envisioning. It's like you're, okay, for instance, Virgo, and I know I'm going to wrap it up, but let's say for instance, Virgo, Virgo's like, I want a three bedroom, two bath Cape Cod house with two kids, a dog, the perfect lover and all the money in the world. Great. Virgo, what do you do as that dream version of yourself? Do you work two jobs? Are you a stay at home parent? Do you take better care of your body? Do you invest your money better? Do you spend less? What does that version of Virgo and that dream life do? Start doing that imaginative leap. Imaginative leap. Start showing up as that version of you that has the dream that you want, right? And fresh perspective. Exactly. That alone, I feel like, is going to help you see things differently. When you kind of put yourself in future you's shoes, <laughs> that will help, okay? That was a long one, but that was good. Virgo, incredible. Um, I already told you the signs you could be dealing with, so that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And Virgo, I will see you in your next reading replacement. Take care. I'm loving these readings today. Every, re every sign has such a different vibe and energy and message. All right, next up we have Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. Can you please give us one card? What is the central energy, central message, most important message that Libra needs to hear today? Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Coins. Well, shit. Virgo just got Ten of Cups and you got Ten of Coins. So things, it's all about family right now. It's all about family. It's all about investment. It's all about quality time. It's all about um legacy some of you are working on your wealth building a family spending time with family thinking about the future investing in your future this is generational wealth legacy like i said beautiful all right spirit two cards for libra what do they need to know right now some of you may be coming into an inheritance or inheriting like a family business or something like that getting a gift of money maybe from a uh, like an older family member Spirit, two cards for Libra. Two cards for Libra. So you got awareness. Okay, so you are aware of something. Your crown chakra is lit up. You are aware of something. This is either within yourself or externally. This could also be um, spiritual awareness, evolution. Okay. And then we have solitude. Okay, so you're, you're needing... To, Excuse me, you're needing to spend some time alone, journal, meditate, pray, read, research, spending time alone, turning off the phone for a bit, going back to the old paper and binding. Huh. Let's pull some more cards and see what's going on. Spirit, this is for Libra. Ooh, Knight of Wands in the Tower. Some of you may be overwhelmed with financial obligation, responsibility, family uh, family obligations and responsibility. You may need some alone time. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys may need to or want to withdraw. One more shuffle. Ace of Coins and the High Priestess. You may be aware that you are in a some situation that involves family or money that you need to process. I don't know what that means for all of y'all, but that's going to mean something different. Four cards for Libra. What do they need to know right now? Seven of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. So you've been to putting in time, effort, energy, money, resources into a job, into a business, into a family dynamic, into a relationship. Oh. I was just thinking with solitude, the hermit was going to come out and there it is. Virgo energy. Like I said, Virgo had 10 of cups. So I wonder if you're either dealing with a Virgo, you may be on the cusp, have Virgo in your chart. Maybe Virgo season was significant for you. Um, that was um, August and September. One more for Libra. What do they need to know right now? And the four of swords in reverse. Okay. 
So some of you are needing to take step away from a business, step away from a job or a relationship to process some information, process some things, work through some shit. But then Four of Swords in the reverse tells me that you are coming out ready to communicate, ready to take action, coming out of solitude. So some of you have been dealing with someone who has pulled away and been in solitude and now they will be coming out or this is you. Um, whoever was pulling away and going into solitude, Libra, I feel like it was because they needed to balance the scales in terms of work-life balance, how much they're giving versus how much they're receiving, if they were getting a good return on their investment, okay? Somebody could be investing in you or you investing in them and they are weighing out if it's a good return on investment. There is a sense of wisdom here. There's a sense of becoming more aware, becoming more wise, doing some healing here with the Four of Swords. It's like healing has been done, things have been processed, and now it's time to come out and communicate because now we have the sort of communication on top instead of underneath of him when it's upright. So you could, are, you're going to get a message or a decision will be made. You could be giving this message or making this decision, but something that there's about, there's been like a lull about this 10 of coins energy because someone was made aware of something. And after some contemplation on this return on investment per se, there is about to be a decision or action or communication now. Okay. All right, that's what I got. Let's get some advice for you. Spirit, what is Libra's advice, please? What is Libra's advice? Wow, that flew right into the incense holder. Follow your own good advice. <laughs> the universe said, fuck my advice. Follow your own goddamn advice. Oh, you know why, Libra? Because they know that you weigh out all the pros and cons. Libra is the most considerate when it comes to making decisions. You guys are very diplomatic, generally speaking, especially Libra moons, okay? Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Not me. Sometimes the universe does. But trust, you know, do what feels best in your gut. Do what feels best in your heart to you. Trust yourself. You can trust yourself, Libra. Okay? All right, that is your reading. It was beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. If you would please like this video and subscribe to my channel, Libra, that would mean the world to me. And I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what is Scorpio's most important message? What is their central message, Scorpio? Scorpio. Knight of Blades. Rash decisions. Flighty, flaky energy and communication. Some of you, if you're about to go get your hair done, be careful. Go to someone that has a good Instagram, okay? Don't go to someone that your grandma recommended or some rando recommended. Do your research. You may find yourself getting into an argument or being surrounded by kind of flighty, flaky, um, off-the-cuff type of energy. This could be an argument, a decision, very... <laughs> right? Very flighty. All right, let's get some more cards for you, Spirit. This is for Scorpio. Emotional loss. Do not go cut your hair after a loss. That is, I've been a hairdresser for 12, no, 14 years. Licensed for 14 fucking years. Wow, that's crazy. And the number one rule is don't ever make a drastic change to your hair when you're sad. So some of you, it's not even that deep. It's just don't go fuck with your hair while you're sad. Um, Emotional loss. Also, consider the energy, you, the company you keep may be contributing to your energy. So if you're feeling a loss right now emotionally, you may need to be around more sensitive, grounded people instead of Knight of Blades energy. And then power. Taking your power back. Empowering yourself. I always, when I went, first, first of all, this card reminds me of Leo energy strength. But when I see this card... Scorpio, I'm reminded that the capacity for violence, but choosing peace is the true definition and essence of power. So it's like self-restraint, 
self-control, discipline. Interesting. All right, Spirit, four cards, please, for Scorpio. What do they need to know right now? What does Scorpio need to know right now? What is their most important message? Four cards, please. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Four cards for Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles. There's something you've been putting a lot of time, effort, energy, money, and resources into for a long period of time. Could be a job, work. There's some temptation here. You're tempted to do something. Page of Cups. Some of you guys may be tempted to take a big leap because you're in pain, because you're lonely, because you're disappointed. But there's something that you've been putting a lot of work and effort into that you're tempted to just throw in the towel or tempted to do something that could disrupt it. For instance, let's say you've been growing your hair out for five years, three years, two years, and you're in a lot of pain and you just are like, fuck it, I'm gonna go cut off all my hair and color it. And so you go and do it and then you hate it and regret it and then you have to start all over, right? Or you resist the temptation to do it and you push through and you take your power back. It's like you could go do that or you could show some self-restraint and, and remain committed is what I'm hearing. You may be tempted to um, abandon a commitment. And I feel like even, no matter how confused you are, no, how, no matter how um, tempted you are, no matter how much you refuse to look at the facts, refuse to be honest with yourself and avoid this, if you remain committed, if you keep your promise that you made to yourself or someone else, you will be rewarded, Page of Cups. It's almost like a sweet little level up. Some of you could be getting an apology or a message of love from a Capricorn or a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or a Leo. Some of you guys may be so focused on work and then somebody comes in and you're, you're automatically like, nope, you're a distraction. Maybe you're still getting over a heartbreak or maybe you're just too busy or maybe you just don't wanna be made vulnerable again. So you may be viewing a certain opportunity, person, job, relationship as a distraction or a temptation. And you may be deciding, if you do decide to follow through with it or follow up, you may be keeping it at a very innocent level, Page of Cups. Flirting, sweet messages, maybe dating, but that's it. Like you're, we're putting a ceiling or a cap on whatever this could, whatever potential this could reach. Very interesting reading. Let's get some advice for you from the universe, Scorpio. Don't act out of pain. Sit with your pain before you make a rash decision is what I'm hearing. Painting the roses red, covering up errors. So this is, you know, you make a mistake and instead of sitting with the pain and embarrassment and discomfort, we go and do something rash or make a rash decision or go to something that is not good for us because we wanna feel better, but turns out, turns out it's not gonna make you feel better. If anything, it's gonna set you back in your progress. And it's okay to be vulnerable and admit mistakes. Not one human on this planet has ever not made a mistake. Okay? Oh, and that reminds me. You know, as someone who grew up Pentecostal Christian, and I, I still, Jesus is my homie. I still use the Bible on a daily basis to live my life. Not every part of it, but certain parts. And I pray to G Jesus and other ascended masters. And everybody likes to say that, or, you know, everybody will say that Jesus was blame-free, sin-free, never did anything wrong. But does anybody remember when he was on the cross and he finally asked God, why have you left me? Why have you forsaken me? He, it's like he had been tempted to do that so many times and he had never, he always kept the faith. And then on the cross, he was like, why have you forsaken me? He gave in to that, that feeling, which I mean, some, depending on how religious people are, some people would consider that a sin or blasphemy. Anyhow, not to get into religion, I'm just saying everybody makes mistakes. Everybody looks at things from the wrong angle sometimes. Everybody sees things from, a, from a, an off perspective sometimes. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some mercy. Give yourself some room to fuck up. And it's okay. You don't have to try to hide your mistakes or your errors. And don't go get your fucking hair cut on a whim because I'm telling you, some of y'all are going to have an error so big they can't cover it up or fix it. Okay. All right. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Leo. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra 2. We got a lot of, I think, 
well, except for Pentacles, we have everything out here on the table. All right, very interesting reading, Scorpio. That is it for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. Please don't go get your hair cut, and if you do, make sure their Insta is fire. All right, Scorpio, if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me, and I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. All right, let's get some more incense before we move to Sagittarius. All right, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what is Sagittarius's main message? The central energy for my Sagittarians. That's way too many cards. I did see the Empress, the Devil, and Nine of Cups. Some of you guys may be stressed from your responsibilities or parenting or trying to play all these roles that you may be tempted to overindulge in something. Be careful. All right, Sagittarius. Only hear what I want to. Queen of Blades. Factual, professional, a speaker, a teacher, a scientist. This is someone who works with logic and facts, not feelings, not emotions. Okay? This is medicine, law, um, communications, things like that. So you're either finding out something or you're having to make a decision. Interesting. Let's get two cards for Sagittarius, please. There's one, Material Harvest. Some of you guys may be filling a higher up position or you may be teaching others how to do what you do and it may bring them money. Others even may be learning about money, learning how to budget from someone qualified, maybe a financial advisor. One more for Sagittarius. Conflict and defeat. Okay, five of wands energy. Some of you guys might be dealing with an ex or with a um, some kind of legal dealing or dynamic here that, that may decrease your funds or make you feel like it's like it's like at first we're like on top of the world and then we're like, oh, got punched in the gut and you know, not only do, so over here we have all the coins, all the food, everything you could want. And then here we can't even turn on the electricity. We've got a candle on the stairs lighting our way. So I feel like there is a female or a feminine energy or just this kind of queen of swords energy that is determining, you know, somebody may have power over you. Somebody may be able to determine whether you get it all or nothing. And this could be an ex or a, a feminine or a kind of a bitch queen of blades and that's usually in the reverse but this person can be good, very cold uh, this could be a judge or a moderator somebody here is deciding how much of what you get to keep and what you have to give away or who gets the job who gets the raise very interesting spirit four cards for sagittarius what do they need to know right now this could be a supervisor a boss an owner somebody in a position of authority Multiple degrees, potentially qualified. And it's almost like they're, they're in the position to determine your fate when it comes to work, maybe. Interesting. Four cards for Sagittarius, please. What do they need to know right now? Seven of Swords. If any of you are fudging your hours or fudging your time or fudging something, don't do that. Judgment. Being judged for mistakes and moves here. Three of Cups. Well, I like the Three of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. Well, well, well. So some of you are being judged for who you associate with, either in a social or a professional setting. That is very interesting. There's definitely a big decision being made with the Queen of Blades, Judgment, and the Ace of Swords. I feel like there's someone around you who may have been dishonest, and this could have even been you, 
but there's somebody here that's, that's been dishonest and the truth is coming out and somebody who needs to see it is seeing it and they're being held accountable by authority figures, a boss, law enforcement, legal system, whatever. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys may be breaking free from a social dynamic or a job or a friend group or a relationship where there was some shady shit going on. Could have been a third party situation, could have been lying, deception, but it's like you're breaking free. You're cutting, cutting something or someone away that may have deceived you or been secretive. And I feel like it's a very good judgment call. Some of you are being considered for, let's say for instance, um, this Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or boss figure has to decide who stays and who goes, and maybe you get to stay. And you're celebrating that you're getting, it's like you're hearing the decision that you've been chosen or you've been given a pass. Others of you are getting a hearing about a decision that somebody got found out or got um, punished or something like that. There's some information coming out and there's some judgment happening about somebody's shady behavior or bad choices. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or have any of those in your chart. There's a decision, some communication coming. It's like, no, 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 judgment call. <clears throat> All right, let's get your advice, Sagittarius. Someone's being blamed, and the person who's being blamed is going to lose something or lose out on something or be defeated. Impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, and fresh perspective. So you may find it hard to believe that this is happening. You may find it hard to believe that you've been chosen or that somebody's been involved in something or called out, finding it hard to believe that you're getting an opportunity um, and you're gonna have to work through and walk through that disbelief and you're taking leaps that you could have only imagined. You're seeing things from a different angle now. You may see differently, you know, oh, well, next time let me choose my friends, you know, differently or more wisely or next time let me, you know, work at a job that maybe is a little bit more transparent and has more integrity or next time let me choose a life partner or a lover that isn't so shady and dishonest kind of thing. You're seeing things differently. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helped. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. And Sagittarius, I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, please give us one card for Capricorn central energy, their main message, what they need to know the most. Thank you, spirit. What does Capricorn need to know the most? This one? Judgment. Judgment. So this is all about choices right now, okay? The spirit, the, the universe is asking you to look at your choices, okay? Look at who you're spending your time with. <clears throat> look at what you're spending your money on. Um, look at if you're passing judgment on others. Look at if you're comfortable and happy with the decisions you're making. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or another Sagittarius or have either one of the, sorry, and not another Sagittarius. You could be on the cusp, but you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Sag, but you're, you're, you've got an opportunity to make a different decision or you're looking back on choices that you've made. Um, interesting. Let's pull some more cards. Two cards for Capricorn. Obstacles and challenges. It did come out in reverse. I do, I do not take these in reverse, but we will touch on it. So you may be looking at how you spend your money, if you save, if you invest, how you treat money, your relationship with money. Um, you may be decide, looking at your, you know, let's say your current obstacles or situation, and you may say, okay, old Capricorn would have handled it this way, but I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot, so new Capricorn is going to handle it this way. One more for Capricorn, please. Foundation and achievements. So this has something to do with your family life, home life, your community, your neighborhood, people that you work with. You may have grown a lot. You may have achieved a lot. You're trying to build on your foundation. Maybe back in the day, you you were a little bit more you know, off the cuff or on a whim, and now you are focused more on a solid foundation and building up your achievements. 
I feel like you are you are in the you have the opportunity or you're in the position, Capricorn, to make to make decisions financially or otherwise that will either set you back or keep building your foundation and help you move forward. All right, Spirit, can we please have four cards? What does Capricorn need to know right now? Four cards. What does Capricorn need to know right now? So you get the four of wands again. So this is definitely about a marriage, a home life, family life, stability. The hanging man, Pisces energy, trying to see things from a fresh perspective, from a different angle. Could be bleeding some money a little bit here. The longer you wait, the more it's costing you kind of thing. Judgment, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy here. So judgment twice, four of wands twice. That is incredible. That is incredible. Two majors here. Jesus. One more for Capricorn. This is a big deal, whatever this is. How you handle this, these obstacles and challenges are either going to contribute to your growth or your demise. And the five of swords. Okay, you may have to make a very difficult decision coming up, Capricorn. You may have to leave something or somebody behind in the dust because the five of swords always takes no prisoners and they leave collateral damage every time. But it's strategic, it's calculated, and it's like, this is what I have to do. So if you notice in the Five of Swords, the way he's holding these swords, he's risking getting cut, but it doesn't matter because he's got the swords and he got what he wants. So there's something here about either a decision is being made and you're getting what you want, or you're making a decision that benefits you and maybe even only you. It could also be benefiting your family, your home, but you're making a decision after considering the other options you're making a decision to, nah, I'm good on that. I'm going to do this or I'm going to take this opportunity. Very interesting. This is a very big decision. It's going to be different for all of you. It's not going to be what shoes to wear. It's not, it's not something that small. All right, let's get your advice from the universe. I can't believe you got judgment twice and the four of wands twice. That's crazy. And you got two fives. Lots of mirroring. So I almost wonder if you guys see like instant karma or like instant results. So when you make a decision, Capricorn, do you see it reflected back to you quickly? Do you think, do you see the things that you manifest come quickly? I'm curious. Tell me below in the comments if that's the case for you, Capricorn. What is Capricorn's advice? What is Capricorn's advice? I just heard, do you investigate? Look closely, ask questions, think before acting. What I what is this whole thing about? Waiting, even if it costs a little bit of time, a little bit of money, before you make a big decision, think about it. Do you wanna start a family? Do you wanna get married? Do you wanna leave this family? Do you wanna leave the, the state, the, the neighborhood, the friend group? Do you wanna to try to get this guy's job because he's dropping the ball and you could swoop in and, and take it and it would be really good for your foundation and achievements, but you're gonna hurt somebody's feelings. What do you want? Do the investigation, do the research, do the work, and then make your choice. But think before you do it. Gorgeous. I love that, Capricorn. That is an awesome reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. And I really hope that clap did not make you go deaf. Sorry about that. I'm just very excited. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, Capricorn, that would be amazing. And I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. Billy, don't you lose my number? Cause you're not anywhere that I can find you. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus spirit. Can we please have one card for Aquarius? What is their main message? What is their central energy? This is for Aquarius. Ooh. Aquarius. Aquarius. That's the one. Page of Cups. Oh, so you may be dealing with a young energy, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This could be a son, a daughter, a family, kids. This could also be love. This could be a new, fresh love. This could be flirting, expressing feelings. There's something very soft, tender, uh, vulnerable, innocent here. This is beautiful. You may be um, getting in touch with your kind of um, your inner child, or you may be connected with somebody who is kind of making you feel youthful and young again. Gorgeous. Spirit, two cards, please, for Aquarius. Financial and material changes. So you're maybe either experiencing some lack or some growth. Something here is changing. Something here is 
either more or less. Something here is changing. And love begins. Well, look at that. Ace of Cups energy here. So you're either learning to love and heal your inner child or you are in love with somebody, catching feelings for somebody, and I feel like you feel like a child again or like a teenager. You're excited, you're enthusiastic, you jump out of bed when your phone goes off, you're so excited. Um, I just got a reference to this card in a sensual way. I'm not gonna go into details, but you get the point. If you don't, you're too young to be here. Um, pouring into something bigger than you, but also pouring into yourself. Some of you may be experiencing some financial hardships, but in the love department, things are very exciting. And this doesn't even mean have, this is the five of coins energy, but it says changes, not depletion, right? So something here is changing in the material life, in your material life, in the material world. But this is exciting and young and beautiful, and I love it. All right, let's get some cards for Aquarius. Let's give you a good shuffle. Some of you guys have been so focused on work and trying to keep your head above water or stability. Oh my gosh. That now you're starting to look up almost. I'm hearing that song, Look Up by Zero Seven. You're looking up and there's just love and look at that, 10 of coins and three of cups. There's fun, there's love, there's friends, there's celebration, there's money, there's long-term legacy and wealth. Wow. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know? Right now, what do they need to know? Tell me more. What do they need to know? Oh, geez. Nine of Pentacles, single, independent, autonomous, free agent, three of wands, looking to the future, thinking about what you want. What kind of life do you want? Where do you want to move? Who do you want to build a life with? What do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be with? What do you, you know, any of those things. Looking to the future. Somebody, there's a maybe a new love that has you excited about the future. Ooh, look at that. So we've gone from the Nine of Cups to the Queen of Wands, honey. She's on fire. And fuego, if you will. Looking good, magnetic, charismatic. Somebody sees you as very enticing, very beautiful, very exciting, very attractive. Or you see this person this way, or you guys both see each other that way. You know, it's interesting. Three of Wands plus the wand she's carrying is the Four of Wands. You may be a missing puzzle piece to somebody or vice versa. Interesting. And what do we have? And the Nine of Cups, very, very happy. Lots of enjoyment. Maybe going on dates with this person, eating, drinking, breaking bread, spending time, socializing, enjoying life. Not taking it so seriously, not being so focused on what you have or what you don't have. But rather, this it's almost like this, this new love opportunity makes you feel more present. Suddenly you're not taking your independence so seriously, you're really enjoying yourself. You still are exactly who you are, even in love. If anything, it might make you better. All right, let's get your advice. That's beautiful, Aquarius, I love this. You're not losing who you are, you're just expanding. Joining forces is what I'm hearing, wow. This could even increase your financial state. All right, Aquarius, what's their advice? No need to fear, remember how powerful you are. What did I just say? There's nothing to fear, you're not losing anything by becoming coupled up or um, partnering up with someone in romance or otherwise. You're not losing your identity. You can, st excuse me, you can still be independent and autonomous. There's no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. You're not giving up your power, you're making it more exponential. Beautiful, Aquarius, that is your reading, that was incredible. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could have any of those in your chart, but that is your reading. Aquarius, that was beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot to me. And Aquarius, I will see you in, in your next reading or placement. Take care. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
Spirit, please give us one card. What is the main message or central energy for Pisces, please? Thank you. Right before the fall, cause I would risk it all for you. The High Priestess, there you are. You just got yourself. High Priestess, see, you are very intuitive. Some of you are getting into that Halloween season. The veil is very thin for you right now, Pisces. You're intuiting. You may be attracting a lot of animals. Um, you may be surrounded by a lot of animals. I feel like you're leaning into this kind of witchy, you know, you observe everything and you say very little. You are acting as a mirror for people around you. You see the mirror she's holding? You're acting as a mirror. You are reflecting energy. You're very empathic. You're very intuitive, very connected right now. Always Pisces, because you're a fucking Pisces. Wow, okay. Let's get two more cards for Pisces spirit. What else do they need to know right now? This is saying trust your intuition. Um, journal your dreams, keep track of them. Trust what you're hearing, seeing, feeling. Rejoice in celebration. So some of you guys may be intuiting that there's about to be a celebration or that you are about to be winning at something or celebrating something. You know something is coming. You can feel it in your bones. One more for Pisces, please. And fulfillment of wishes. Holy shit, look at that. Nine of coins, three of cups, nine of coins. So it's like you knew, some of you guys have just been sitting back, maybe you've been manifesting money, manifesting wins, manifesting better luck, manifesting abundance, manifesting good times and, and you know, I feel like some of you guys, are, your wishes are coming true. Um, just remember that just like we are mirrors for other people, that when we work any kind of spell work, even if it's just lighting a candle with an intention, um, that you are going, so everything I believe comes back, I don't know how many fold, threefold, sevenfold, time, tenfold, but just remember what you put out comes back around. Make sure you keep your integrity intact. But you knew something was coming around. You just have been waiting. You didn't have to go pursue it. You didn't have to fight and claw your way for, nope. You manifested it, you knew it, and you waited. Okay. Spirit, four cards for Pisces. What does my Pisces need to know right now? What does my Pisces need to know right now? Queen of Pentacles, well shit. Make sure you are going to be a good um, shepherd of what the universe gives you. Treat it good, invest it wisely, spend it wisely, treat it well. Nurture it, grow it. Oh my God, King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are manifesting your perfect partner or your money is increasing because we're going from queen to king and in the tarot, masculine is the superseding. Um, so, it, you know, it goes page, knight, queen, king. King is at the pinnacle. Okay, or pinnacle rather. Two more. So very money focused, earthly focused, stability focused. Ten of wands, there's that weight. Just remember, if you manifested more money, it might come with more work and more obligation and more responsibility. And King of Cups. Oh. Some of you have manifested love and you're actually getting two options. Could be between a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Others of you guys are being reminded by the universe, listen, you may be celebrating your wins. You may be getting more money, more hours, more business, more response, whatever, but it's coming with a 10 of wands. So this could be you having to move, you being responsible for a whole department instead of just your own work, um, you having more duties, responsibilities. Focus on your feelings and your heart chakra and your, your emotional health as well. Try not to be hyper-focused on finances and earthly matters. Remember your soul and your heart and your spirit too. Um, joy, vulnerability, emotional honesty, things like that. Um, some of you, like I said, are going to have two options between a job and opportunity or a lover. And you may be thinking it over and struggling with the, struggling with the decision. Let's get some advice from the universe spirit. This is for Pisces. What is their advice? I'll, again, meditate on it, pray on it, journal about it. I feel like you're going to make the right choice because you're going to see it in your dreams. It's, 
It's like whatever you've manifested, whatever is for you will not, will not pass you by. And if it doesn't fit perfectly, then it's not a perfect fit. Amen. That was kind of profound, actually. <laughs> Spirit, what is Pisces advice? You got two. All in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. This is like the ace of wands. So this is the start of something. This is the conception of something. This is the creative spark. <clears throat> and then investigate. Look closely, ask questions, and think before acting. Again, consider the consequences of your actions and your manifestations. Okay, um, get creative. Use your imagination. Don't limit yourself just to earthly things. Don't limit yourself just to money. Get creative. Get inspired. Inspire others. Something is beginning here. Something you're either going to have a great idea or something. There's a a spark, a newness, something new and exciting. And then investigate. Make sure you do your research. Don't just jump in blind. Okay, Pisces. That was your reading. I loved it. Probably one of my favorite today. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh. I think I already said that. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I did. Or another Pisces. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed your reading, Pisces. I hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will see you very soon for the next reading on the poll that I didn't get to today. Remember to love yourself first and most. Take care.